So I received these stove gap covers from the seller. It looks like the manufacturer is Best Jing. These are in the uh, the black, like the black matte colorway. Uh, just black, actually. A little bit of instructions on the back. There actually isn't anything really in the package aside from these two pieces. And you can see that they are different. They have a little bit of a lip on either side, right? And, and a little bit of uh, clips that are bent out. And then the end is different on this side than it is over here, All right? So it's pretty straightforward. What you need to do, and don't mind, and don't mind my, uh, my mess here, but you basically just slot these in like so. Now, it's designed to be long enough that you can clip some of this edge off, right? Make it even go in a little deeper. You will need some metal side snips for this. But the, the plan here is you can see uh, there's no gap between my stove. Ooh, I need to clean this. My stove and my countertop. Um, you can see over here, there is a little bit of a gap. Let me kind of just show you again here. Makes it look a lot cleaner, a lot nicer. So yeah, I'll have to get some side snips to maybe cut this down. But uh, yeah, it won't impede the uh, opening of the, uh, the oven. And if it does, then you can just trim a little bit of the metal off of here so that it doesn't. Yep, let's get that cleaned up right now. So there is the excess metal. Uh, just used some side snips, wire cutters. Uh, the metal's pretty flimsy. It's not designed to be, to stand up to anything. I did probably cut it a little too short, but that's okay. And you can see that it has a nice little bezel to it. And now there's, there's no more gap, no chance for food or anything to fall in there on the sides. Awesome.